right, welcome to the farm. It looks like something out of the future with its brightly colored neon lights. But the future is here and growing when it comes to hydroponic or vertical farming. So we're using a system called NFT, uh, which is nutrient film technique. You have water that has nutrients in it that you adjust the pH of, you add oxygen to it, so you oxygenate it, uh, and then you put it in a small little trickle down uh, a substrate that the plants are in. Each of the farms that we have are 10 feet by 40 feet by 10 feet high. Um, and in each of those, we're able to grow three acres worth of produce. For St. Louis native Josh Smith, hydroponic or soilless farming began by chance. All, it was one of those COVID pivots. The longtime vegetarian was designing sets for Broadway and hit shows like The Americans and The Flight Attendant. But during the pandemic, he left New York City and a new hobby began to grow. I got a little tiny tabletop uh, hydroponic kit and it grew five little plants at a time and it was adorable. And uh, three months later, I had nerded out and bought a bunch of industrial hydroponic equipment from Iowa and had set up a whole site in my basement. He decided to turn his hobby into a career, moving home and designing a new salad restaurant in St. Louis. It's playfully called Neon Greens. We are a fully vertically integrated salad concept. So we are growing all of the greens for our own salads. Uh, our menu will be salad focused. So we'll have about 10 signature salads on the menu. The restaurant plans to support local farmers by using what they grow and do best. But Smith says it makes sense to grow lettuce because it's often imported from faraway states like California and Arizona. Because of that, by the time it reaches you, it's nutritionally deficient. Um, it's three weeks old uh, and it just doesn't taste very good. Smith is yeah. using his expertise as a set designer to create what he calls an expressive and transparent experience. I focused on a lot with the design of Neon Greens was creating a truly immersive experience that not only puts the customer inside the restaurant and you know into the proximity of the farms, but makes them part of the process. As you're dining at Neon Greens or as you're lining up to order your salad, there's a conveyor belt overhead that's bringing the lettuce in from our harvest capsule. Neon Greens is part of an internationally growing trend. Several area businesses use hydroponic farming, and the forecast from the business research company expects the indoor farming technology market to reach more than $53 billion by 2027. The food system is the single largest impact that people have on the environment. The World Wildlife Fund says the St. Louis region is poised to become the global center for innovation in soilless agriculture, thanks to a study and cooperative effort from dozens of experts the past few years. We wanted to look at an urban area and an area that couldn't otherwise grow crops year round outside, but quickly narrowed in on St. Louis because of its expertise in plant science, its obvious sort of incredible industry around agriculture uh, as well. Uh, I believe St. Louis has more PhDs in plant science than any other spot in the world, you know, per capita. The University of Missouri St. Louis is part of that coalition, which hopes to create a center of excellence on indoor farming in the near future. The world, and, and certainly the U.S., we are still facing a grand challenge of food insecurity. Professor Lee is a professor of supply chain and analytics. He hopes to use data to help indoor farming make economic sense. So we are dedicated in education uh, research as well as community outreach uh, with the goal of transforming life. So this initiative really has the potential for the, the economic development needs in the St. Louis region, uh, as well as plenty of uh, new and exciting research op opportunities, especially from the business and supply chain side. There are no salad restaurants really of this kind uh, in the area. Um, and I wanted to invest in a community that, you know, brought me up to. At Neon Greens, Josh Smith says startup costs can be high for hydroponic farming. And energy use with LED lights is also a concern. But it's an issue he's addressing. You actually adjust your day and night cycle to take loads off of the grid. In addition to offering a farm to table experience, unlike any other in town, 
Smith hopes neon greens sparks interest in hydroponic farming and all the opportunities that can grow from it, whether it be in a restaurant, a classroom, or a region-wide venture. I think food is art. I mean, food is, is an incredibly creative medium, so you're able to communicate a ton in that way. So I'm really, it's kind of taking the creative production that I've done in, the, in my past life and just translating it to a different medium. Thank you.